If you look at what's going on in China, they're building nuclear power plants for one fifth the cost, less than $3,000 a kilowatt. And so it makes perfect sense that the Chinese who are building reactors for one fifth the cost are building 28, 29 reactors or so at the present time. And it also makes sense that the US is, is not building any because people were very much um, um, upset by the, the, the price tag of spending $34 billion to build 2.2 gigawatts of capacity over a course of, of 10 years of construction or four years of licensing. What that project has done essentially has scared the death uh, scared to death all of the nuclear utilities or, or utilities around the country they're contemplating building large reactors because it's essentially um, a decision to do that will lead if they are a publicly traded company to immediate shorting of the stock uh, because there's very very little confidence uh, that these new reactors, large reactors can be built on time and on schedule. And we've seen that already in, in the, the, the project that's going on in the Czech Republic. It started around $17, $17 billion for two. It's up to the $18 billion range. I don't know if that's just a currency uh, uh, issue right now, uh, but however, it's, it, the price is going up. And we already see obstacles to the, um, uh, that project being thrown at, at it by EDF who are bumming out because they didn't get selected for that. But you know, EDF has a very, very poor record of building nuclear pod projects on time and on budget. So it's understandable that the Czech government went with a, uh, a consortium that has successfully delivered nuclear power, power projects close to being on time and on budget in a very hostile environment in the, uh, in, in the UAE. So um, people are scared to death to build um, uh, 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 nuclear power plants in the U.S. and everybody's waiting for somebody else to go next, despite the fact that the U.S. government says that the cost per kilowatt will be 30% uh, less on the next project. But utility is saying, well, let someone else go ahead and do that and show me. And then there's the question of time. If you are driven by time and you need to get these reactors online very, very quickly, is it gonna take you 10 years to get the power online? And so much can happen in the next 10 years that it poses a very, very risky uh, uh, challenge to, uh, uh, to utilities to go ahead and undertake these projects. However, the SMRs are also uh, you know, um, uh, not exactly a, a proven project at, at this point. Finally, think about utility owners, the CEOs that run them. Uh, 